I've been really digging opera, right, for a while since I was a kid. But um, I came across this um, in my studies this um, thing, created thing called the castrati. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with that, these are young men who had the balls cut off uh, so that their voice could remain as it was. And they were like the rock stars of the day, you know. Uh, so they, you know, they could, all the women dug them because they had this eeriness about their voice, but they couldn't do shit, you know, because, you know, they had issues, right? Um, and there's an interesting movie uh, that peeks into that a bit. It's, it's called Farinelli. So if you ever get a chance to check it out, and there's a, there's a line I use here from that. But uh, these guys, they would be drug addicts. And uh, I mean, you get your nuts cut off, right? I mean, you know, you probably want to get high <laughs> to forget the pain. So this is a castrato speaks. <clears throat> Fever dream. Gelding gallop thunder my temples, black hooves, black hooves gouge the brain beneath my brain. Horses' heads oblong turn toward my hairless song, pubescent throat ambered in the cusp of change. Because it drags the purgatory between boy and man, the church cloisters this choir in my voice. God needs it to remain cherubic a flaccid halo around the Holy Father's head, it would seem that my mouth swells the cock of Trinity and paints women in wet alleluia when they think of my lips becoming hips, becoming lips again, becoming fetish valve burbing inside them like a hard fruit they squeeze between their fat legs while their husbands sleep. I am lace and powder and powdered wig. I am satin and sound and sounded. I am the angel's androgyny, the hour of failed flesh, the absence of apples in winter. I am the absence. Opium, once beatific, offered delirium. I'd lift a goblet to Morpheus. He'd slide me a dream. But even he has grown impotent and can only offer reprise of nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, amber cusp of turn. My throat pubescent, hairless, hooves oblong into black gouge beneath my brain. My temples thunder like geldings recalling stallion fire. Recalling time before two moons hanging in the hang night were lent slow through earth shadow before my voice stayed lifted as a fisted scalpel lifted like the round backsides of, of aristocratic daughters live lilac clandestine in their sex the small fragment of the infinite asleep in their bellies aroused by the horror I inspire castrato I awaken floating in the O of that word a whiteness an encircled empty the stillness, sanguine, weeping its withered rage between my sallow thighs. <laughs> 